But one company where the numbers look stellar were Titagad Wagons. The revenue growth was 131% on a year-on-year -year basis. The company reported a profit of 48 crore versus a loss of 25 crore same time last year. For the full year, FI23, the company has reported an 89% revenue growth, benefiting from surging railway capex. That said, the stock too has done well, 45% higher year to date and more than 200% gain in the last one year. Umesh Chaudhary, Vice Chairman, Managing Director, Tita Garbagans is with us on the show now. Uh, Mr. Chaudhary, morning, Reema here. First, if you could give us an updated order book number. In Q3, I think your order book was about 10,100, 10,200 crores. What does that number stand at currently? And if you could break that up in terms of freight systems, passenger rolling, shipping, defense, and bridges. Good morning, uh, Reema. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yes, uh, in terms of the order book, uh, there has been a significant uh, jump on the order book. And uh, we closed the year with almost uh, 27,000 crore of order book, which includes our share of the bids that we have won in consortium uh, in terms of the Vande Bharat bid and also the wheel uh, project bid. Uh, so uh, if we consider only our, our part, uh, portion of that consortium, uh, the order book is uh, quite healthy at about 27,000 crore. And if we have to uh, break it up in the three segments, so first thing is that we have uh, decided, A, the name of the company has now changed from Tetagar Wagon to Tetagar Rail Systems. We got the shareholder and the uh, ROC approval uh, earlier this week. Uh, so now it is no longer Titagar Wagon and Rail System, which is reflective of the uh, change in the, uh, in the, or the shift in the business uh, strategy of the company. And uh, we also decided this time to merge the shipbuilding uh, bridges and defense segment with the freight rail system uh, segment, which we declared yesterday to the market. So we operate now in two broad segments, which is the freight rail systems and the passenger rail systems. The order book, I would say, uh, on both the side, both the divisions is almost at an equal. Uh, if I include the wheels into the freight rolling store, freight rail system, then the, the order book is almost split half and half. Okay, 50-50, right? Between uh, pass freight and passenger is uh, what you're saying. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so good morning. Prashant here. I just have a, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, there is no doubt about uh, the, uh, the intent of the government. I mean, they're spending, they're allocating a lot of money uh, for rail ca capex, right? Uh, and uh, <coughs> markets are uh, sort of <coughs> allocating that, uh, divvying that allocation up uh, between companies in the space, and you are a prominent player. Uh, what about capacity, sir? I mean, to be able to execute and build these out in a very timely kind of fashion. So when you say you've got an order book of 27,000 crores and that will only swell in the coming uh, years, is there enough capacity with the industry? I mean, tell us about your uh, sort of capacity, both in the passenger and the freight segment and how you are upping that, because that will need to go up substantially uh, for all of this work to be executed in a timely manner and for that to convert into revenues, etc. Go on. Sure, Prashant. Uh, you know, you're very right. Firstly, from your mouth to God's ears, let the order book swell further. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the capacity to execute uh, is concerned, that's exactly what has been uh, our, uh, our USP. If you look at our revenue, annualized uh, annual revenue, about four or five years ago, we were at about 300 crores. We are at about 2,800 crores this year in a matter of four or five years. So we have always, uh, you know, we have demonstrated that we have scaled up our operations. Of course, you know, the, the business is coming because of the tailwind uh, that the government is providing. You know, the whole Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan, the Make in India, the focus on the infrastructure, the, the way the, the current government, the Prime Minister and the, the Railway Minister and the, the whole railway machinery is working, is actually uh, uh, kind of creating the platform for companies like us to be able to demonstrate our capacity and our capability. Uh, in terms of the future execution, uh, you know, for the, and the, the, there are different segments. So as far as the freight rail system is concerned, which is uh, wagon business primarily, we have uh, uh, already scaled up our uh, production to close to 700 wagons a month. Uh, I had announced that we would be targeting within this financial year to increase it to about 1,000 wagons a month. We are on track with our plans. We will be able to achieve that. As far as the passenger train or passenger rail system is concerned, we have started, the, we've already executed more than 50% of the Pune Metro contract. We will complete that during the course of the current year. 
start with the Bangalore, start with the Vande Bharat. So we are pretty much on track in terms of all the uh, capacity expansion or stabilization to be able to execute the orders that we have got. For the wheel project, it's a joint venture with uh, Ramakrishna Forging. They are an experts in their domain, in the forging domain. So, you know, we would be working together to set up a new greenfield project for making the wheels, which will take about, uh, so the contract allows us three years to set up this facility, but we will definitely target to set it up faster. Right. So, long story short, I don't uh, see Mr. That, Chaudhary, uh, just sorry, I just wanted one number uh, for the passenger coach segment. What is the monthly capacity and what will that go up to? So, right now, uh, we are dividing our monthly capacity into two parts in the passenger uh, rail systems. One is for the metro, which was earlier up to 20 metros. We are enhancing it to 36 metro cars a month. Uh, we believe that this capacity expansion will be over in the next 12 months. Uh, we've already started setting up the stainless steel metro facility. And then another 30-odd cars of Vande Bharat uh, per month. So, we are setting up a separate facility, a uh, separate line of production in the same facility. So all told, our target is in three years' time, we should, from the current production level of maybe five, six metros, we should be able to go to about 50, 60 metros. Or uh, right. 50, 60 coaches, sorry. All right, Umesh, very, very quickly, what kind of a revenue growth will you do this year with the margin outlook? So as far as the uh, revenue growth is concerned, we have good order book. If you see that uh, uh, the segmental revenue, the passenger rolling stock, or the passenger rail system is not... Uh, been significant. I mean, it's still been about 500 odd crores in the annual revenue. We believe that will, that has a lot of headroom uh, to uh, catch up. Uh, the freight would grow in a normal uh, kind of uh, manner. So I, we would not uh, we do not give any forward uh, looking guide, guidance, but uh, we believe that the growth should be good. If you look at the last quarter, we've done 976 okay. in the last quarter. So on an annualized, of course, there's a large uh, potential for growth. Uh, on, in terms of the EBITDA, we have always maintained uh, that our business gives us about 8 to 10 percent EBITDA. We are at about 10 percent, 10 and a half percent now also. So we believe we should continue with the same uh, same EBITDA guidance. Got that. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, just to clarify the point, in passenger coach segment, both metro, non-metro, etc., it will go up to about 700 to 800 in three years' time, a year. Coaches. The capacity. Yeah, the capacity, capacity will be about 700 coaches in, uh, in a year. That's right. All right, got that. <clears throat> Appreciate you joining in and, uh, you know, <clears throat> let the order books well, as I said, uh, <laughs> as we began the conversation earlier. Thank you very much. And, of course, the capacity to execute, I think, more importantly, as well as you outlined. We'll uh, take a quick break here. There's, what, uh, 15 minutes to go for the market uh, open at 9, the pre-open, that is. Anuj will be here in the studios with a quick check of things. And, of course, our own technical experts uh, join in as well. Stay with us. <laughs>